Hello everyone, and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. This is going to be in a hundred, a hundred percent walkthrough. Gosh, every single walkthrough I do, I just can't seem to speak correctly right at the beginning. And I guess that goes to show, <laughs> this is actually the third attempt at me recording the, uh, the actual first part of the game. I've been having recording issues, but that's not the point. Regardless, welcome to this walkthrough. This is a 100% walkthrough. We are going to do everything in this game, and for people who are returning back to the channel, returning back to watching another walkthrough of mine, I'm sorry it's been so long. Um, I took a couple months break. My original plan is to do one month to fix a bunch of equipment I had, to replace some of it, and to focus on work, because this isn't my job. This is, for now, a hobby. And, um, to, you know, the holidays were here, so I had to focus on that a bit, and just a bunch of other stuff, so, uh, I've been kind of busy, and it took longer than I expected, but, but, I improved my equipment a bit, and I got a whole new system going, and all that sort of stuff, and I'm ready to get back into recording walkthroughs again. I just came back with a podcast episode, and also a new type of video series I might do on a bi-weekly, maybe monthly basis, just and stuff like that. So if you're interested in seeing what I posted earlier this month, then I would say go check that out. Did I post it in Jet? Hey, you know, it doesn't matter. I think I posted the beginning of February. Regardless, uh, I am back to get back in the groove. I actually wanted to play a a, uh, a different kind of game, um, just one that was shorter, maybe older and stuff like that. But I kind of decided, no, I've been really craving a Western game. Uh, like, my channel's full of Western games that I've recorded for it before and this was kind of the one I was really getting my hyped up myself hyped up for uh, I already have a bunch of research on it and I've been wanting to do this one for such a long time on the channel I thought you know I pretty much have everything I need to do the 100% walkthrough that I want to do uh, in terms of like you know an excel sheet to track everything I'm doing and all the sort of other stuff that I do for my 100% walkthrough so I thought why don't I just do it. I have the ability, I have the drive and the will and the want to do it, so why not just do it? Now, this might not be the only walkthrough I, or playthrough I ever do this game, um, just because I see so much opportunity and, you know, fun and maybe doing future playthroughs of this game to show off maybe some of the outfits or hairstyles and stuff I wouldn't show in this playthrough and those other playthroughs and maybe some of the other choices that there would be that I wouldn't choose in this playthrough of the game. You know, I, I posed the question to maybe do Red Dead Redemption 1 a second time just to play, well, low honor choices because, you know, I felt my personal choices were all the high honor choices, obviously, just because... I can't help myself to be a, a a good person in these games. I don't really know why, so that's probably something we see in the future. But this walkthrough itself is going to be a 100% walkthrough, and I'm going to take all the choices that I would choose personally and what I think are the correct choices. So if you're here to see specifically low honor and some of the more negative choices, um, this is not going to be the walkthrough for that. I'm just going to say that right now. So if you're not looking for that, that's most likely not going to be here. It might be a choice or two, depending on... But I'll give good reasoning for those choices. Like, I don't think... Like, I'm going to rob people, even though I am playing a good Arthur in this playthrough. So, you can expect to see a little bit here and there, but for the most part, it's good honor. The most important thing, though, before we really get started is... Like, I know I, know I talk a bunch at the beginning of my walkthroughs all the time, so I'm trying to keep this kind of short and maybe give more of the details of how I'm going to play the walkthrough as we progress during the intro. But before we get started, I just want to clearly say that this is 100%. So not only are we going to get 100% by the game standards, we are going to get 100% based on my standards. And my standards really aren't that different other than maybe a couple quirky things and specific to me and just overall. When I say 100%, I mean just about... <laughs> Sorry, got the sniffles. I'm kind of stuffed up. You know, the weather's changing where I live, so it's kind of stuffing me up a little bit. But, um, basically to my standards. So now the game will simply will say, to get 100%, you need to complete two of this activity. So I will complete the two of the activity to get 100% based on what the game wants. But not only will I complete those two, I will complete all of that activity something like that you know and not everything has that stipulation for me personally but that is kind of the idea i'm going with here so 
Like, complete a bounty. I'm not just going to complete a bounty. I'm going to complete all bounties. I'm going to complete all side missions. And my hope eventually is to get all gold medals on all all missions. Kind of like I did for Red Dead Redemption 1. So if you've watched that walkthrough and now you're here to see this walkthrough, you kind of get the gist of what I'm going for here. I will have an outfit system. Um, I will not wear everything. Uh, I will try to wear at least every like major outfit once for a specific reason, just because I'm weird like that. I always have had fun trying to like do those kind of challenges in open world games like this, so that will be the same here. So regardless of just what I'm kind of expecting to see or expecting myself to do for this 100%, this game is going to take me a long time to do such a thing. I've done it before, like once or twice, kind of doing my research for this walkthrough because this is what I've been really working for to get this walkthrough out there. Um, so it is going to take me a while, but I am motivated. This is one of my favorite games of all time. This game touched my soul right down to the heart. And I just, I love this game story, the gameplay, the overall vision and almost philosophy of game, of like what it is to be a game and to tell a game in a story, like tell a story in a game is just absolutely beautiful. So I'm very excited for you guys to join me on this journey. Um, I know many of you probably played this before. I've played this many times. So it'll just be reliving the same amazing story again. But I appreciate you joining me along for it once again and i hope that this can lead to uh, a, a great series a uh, great walkthrough and that we could just honestly just have fun with one of the greatest western games ever to be made red dead redemption 1 was such a huge point in my childhood and this game just took that piece of my childhood and took it 20 steps forward i just i love this game that much so enough of my jibber jabbing jibber jabbering and all the excitement we're gonna jump right in and if i think of anything else i should i should probably mention for how this walkthrough is gonna go i will mention it then and there so sit back relax and let's jump right into this fantastic game Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. <sighs> if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. 
There! Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on! Come on! Yeah! Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some focus. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Uh, oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. I am going to probably remain quiet a lot for these beginning missions. Just because there is a lot of dialogue and a lot of tutorial stuff. So don't expect me to talk too much during the dialogue exchanges here. Careful over this bridge here.
while this is probably a walkthrough that is happening way after the game has been made, like a, like four years or so, I think, right? I think so. Uh, I still want the story to be seen and heard for its glory. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. So, do you think it was a trap in Blackwater? That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. But there was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. I stashed what we took with all our money in town right before we fled. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. I'm coming through. Yeah, okay. You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Huddled around a fire, waiting for Daddy to put food on the table. I've said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So, this house... You speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders. You know me. I'm a good boy. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, thanks. Oh, God damn, this snow gets right to the bone. <laughs> okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Oh. Okay. Let's head down there. I think I have the chance to say right now, uh, once again, thank you guys for stopping by this video. If you are 
excited to be for me to be playing this game or just excited for the walkthrough in general be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel so you can check out future updates as we progress along just wanted to quickly say that before we really got deep into this mission i know i'm not doing a whole lot of talking just Let's yet so uh yeah just wanted to let you say that once again thank you guys for watching i appreciate you all for stopping by yeah just wanted to give a chance to say that before I wasn't allowed to talk again. <laughs> Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Someone's having fun in there. You too. Get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Micah. Hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of them. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. Folks. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur. need... Some There's a body food in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen, keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here! He drew! He drew! Oh, I missed the shot. Oh no, I was shot. Whoa! 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 What's going on? Whoa! Wow, I'm uh kind of surprised that that happened. I am I'm usually not that bad. Wow. For, great first impression. Hello? Great first impression. Excuse me. Hello. I should Hello, not have gotten out of cover. Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, See, I was trying too hard not to miss my shots because that's the gold medal. So we're not we're not going to do that again. Ladies and gentlemen. Ah, gentlemen. We Usually they're not that wow, like I'm I'm guys, I'm sorry, this is a horrible first impression. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. We're just gonna forget that that ever happened, okay? Good. Good, we all agree? Okay, cool. Never happened. This is the first time we're doing this. I think go now, buddy. We're still gonna wait till he draws. Now, friend. Cause there's no I guess we have reason I to shoot, but for much. Please. I am kind of desperate. Hey. I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. Okay, wait, wait. We don't do anything until he draws. He drew! He drew. See, I think uh, I was trying too hard to be accurate, so I wasn't actually fighting. So that's a good example, as I am going to try to get gold medal, the, probably the first time if I can, unless it's time related or damage related. Like I'll try to avoid the damage, but if I if I get hit, like whatever. But man, they were lighting me up. This guy's not getting away from me. You get back here. Nope. 
Yeah, first try. Am I right, everybody? Man, that has never happened to me before. I guess I've just played this game so much, I got so confident that it just took me by surprise. I promise, guys, I'm not complete ass at this. I swear. I swear. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Uh, let's uh eat the baked beans. Why not? Usually I eat the salted beef that's in here, but I took this direction instead this time. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw it. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. Oh, Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. But I'm investigating. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Jake and Sadie Wedding, September 7th, 1896. Man, chaos is just happening. This poor guy got murdered. I got murdered. I'm never going to live that down. First mission straight got just destroyed. And the other two times I tried to freaking record this blade through, I did just fine. But I had technical issues with those two times. But oh, what, right when it's... I'm probably not going to have any technical issues at all. Better knock on wood. Because I say that now and I am going to. I look like total dog shit. <laughs> it is what it is sometimes, I guess. But yeah, I should uh, say this. Um, I am going to try my best to show everything that we possibly can in the game. Like extra little pieces, like pieces of like cutscenes. As many of the bank conversations as I can. Like bank conversations, camp conversations as I can. This game is massive. We are going to miss things. It's just the nature of it. That's why I hope to eventually do other playthroughs of the game for sure. But I'm going to try to include as much as I possibly can to that are in within my abilities. Some things you just can't see by the way that you play the game or the choices you make. So it is what it is. Like that's just like that's just a part of these type of games in general. So, but my mission is to show as much as possible. Let me finish searching the place. Like that. Like, I didn't know you could do that for the longest time. But you can. Crazy. The amount of details in this game is just fantastic. Alright, we've searched freaking everything. So let's just go. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin. See what we missed. Sure. Man, just look at the snow. This, isn't that just amazing how detailed that is? Like, look look at just the how it's the tracks look and how horse tracks are different than, well, for the most part, are different from human tracks. It's just the details in it are crazy. I'm going 
gonna break your neck. Yeah, get. Ah, hey, you ain't nothing. What's going on? Now this guy just jumped me. Oh, did he now? Snaky little bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here, and where Calm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Calm, O'Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. Well, yeah, he's answering our questions, so I guess there's no real reason to beat him. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. <sighs> well, he did answer our questions. <laughs> Please spare me. Ah, sure. I promise you, you won't see me again, Parker. Yeah, I don't believe you. I, I just do what I'm told, please. Yeah, get out of here. Get the hell out of here. Go. Pick up our gun. Our trusty hat. Okay. Yeah, okay, boy. Good horse. You let him go, huh? So all the little bastards covering it off. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. Get away from me! My God, what the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh, the knife out of the cellar. Why up there, Gage? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing yeah. nothing. She's one of them O'Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Yeah. Are you... Oh, you fool. Michael. Miss. Now, it is going to be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss. Miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Oh, oh. You okay, Miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they. Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. 
Scout and the train. Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed, and he looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. A few hours ago, most. Cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch <clears throat> killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. We'll continue along the cliff wall here. Davey got shot, Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. 
Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Getting narrow here. Come on, boy. Horse struggling. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. if he can hear us. Come on. Up there. Ha. This ain't good. Dude, that's gnarly looking. Poor horse. Shotgun from your of course. Who knows what's up ahead? Down this way. Man, I would not do this unless it was like my family or like my best friend. Like, just no. Climbing this mountain, no. You sure about this? Coming from this way. Okay. It's slippery. Be careful. Like all this snow and the height is really Get freaking me out. Here. You're telling me. Help me. Careful. There's a drop here. Careful here. Stay low under here. Okay, from here. Watch your step. It's real slippery. Stay close to the wall. I am not going to eat the food just yet, like it's recommending us to do. You can actually get a free bourbon. If you just don't eat anything. And you'll see a little cutscene that is missable if you already eat. That sounds closer now. Come on. See, it's little details like that I'm gonna try to include as much as possible. But you'll see what I mean here soon. See how our stamina core is already depleted? Well, since we're not filling it up right now, we're gonna get a little cutscene to help fill it up for us. And we'll get a free bourbon out of it, so win win. A few days? I know. Here. Take a drink of that. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. If we look in the satchel, boom, we got a bourbon, even though he just drank Let's keep it. Moving, then. And tossed it too. That's John! We're coming! 
I was so excited to find John in this game, just because I played Red Dead Redemption 1 so much. Down here! Alright! Hot down, Marston! He's down here! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Look up there. Perfect. I'll distract him while you get to the horses. Go. Draw him off. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. Okay, we gotta try not to get hit, and we can't miss a single shot. Hey, come here. Oh, already missed. Already failed both of them. Oh, no. Shit. I was really hoping since I failed the first mission, the second one is where I would shine. Not the case. That's all right. I always try to get gold on the first time I played that mission, but I can never seem to get it. It's okay, though. are lucky right now. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Come on! Someone help John down off this 
source. Can we get some help here? Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Right, here we go. There we go. <gasps> Ay, <gasps> careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that... that civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> we have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? Well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck. But then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Hosea. What about you, Arthur? You doubting me, too? Never. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best to try to get camp interactions like that as much as I can, but the truth is, is I'm probably gonna miss a lot. We weren't there, Jose. I'm aware of that. And they shouldn't have been either. Oh, we can't change nothing now. And the money's well hidden in Blackwater? I believe so. And they don't even know we dumped it. Oh, uh, well, you we can wait then. We're going to take some time to kind of talk to people around camp before we start the next mission. We're also going to read the entries that we have in the journal. Arthur's journal, one of the most legendary things in this game. I love his journal. But we're going to get to know the, the camp a bit more and just talk to them and see what they have to say. So if these kind of things bore you and you just want to see gameplay, I would not hate you if you skipped ahead. I understand. You okay in here, Molly? It might be warmer by the fire. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Alright, well we're gonna sit by the fire. And, uh... Read our journal for a bit. Nope, wrong thing, wrong thing. I love the journal because it really gets us to see who Arthur is as a person. And I think that's just so important. Um, I should mention, when it comes to the journal, I am actually going to do something specific. Uh, I'm going to do my best to try to fill out the pages as neatly as I can. 
So you see how it, he wrote in stuff after our mission and stuff like that. But if you discover an animal, kind of like how we discovered the horse in the mission, he'll draw a little doodle of it. So what I'm going to try to do is fill out as many pages as I can that make it look neat. So, like, we would never get something like this, where he just skips a complete page and starts writing in the next page. Like, I, I'm going to do my best. Like, I would fill out the page on the left and then do something where it would fill out the page on the right story-wise and stuff like that. And you'll see a bit more of what I mean as we progress the story because I will be planning on reading the journal as he puts stuff in it. Maybe not immediately, but as we put a bunch of things in it. Just so we can kind of get a look into what Arthur's thinking at the time, what he's doing, and kind of like how he draws these amazing pictures of the different things that he does. It, it, it's going to be a great way to get an insight of how Arthur feels as a character. It's why the journal is so awesome and legendary in this game. But I'm like, I, I hate how when you discover an animal, he just doesn't fill an available page previously that you might have not filled up, but he just goes on to the next. It's, I know it's such a small detail, but like, I, I have it planned out to where I will discover animals as they would fit within the story or maybe would just fill out a page where it looks neat. So that is a small little, one of the small little things I do alongside my outfit systems for games such as this. So you'll get to see a little bit of that as we progress in the game, because it will let us discover animals slowly but surely as we progress through the story. So I'm not doing everything side activity as once. All right, so let's get to reading. So black water, that's his drawing of black water. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. There's another picture of it. Man, he's a good drawer, he's just too good. He really is good, because, I mean, look at how detailed some of this is. Especially since it's a sketch from afar, too. It's pretty, really good. Alright, Blackwater. I bought this new journal after the last one got destroyed in that fire all those months ago. Whenever it was. Haven't written or drawn much in the past few months, but I was missing it more than I thought I, thought I would. And finally near store, so here I am, I guess. After all that business up north in the fire, we spent a few months in the wilderness, traveling down from the northern Grizzlies. Stuck mostly in the western foothills of the mountains during the worst in the winter. Food was easy to find and life was good. Dutch had a lead for some land we were going to buy, but the land did not match up to his criteria, or he got spooked we were being watched by the law, and that somebody knew who he was. And we never bought it, and we were wondering still... Sorry, guys, I just reading too fast and I gotta swallow. We picked up a couple of new folk in the Grizzlies. <laughs> Jenny, a sweet young girl we met abandoned on the roadside in Micah, an outlaw Dutch met in a, met in a bar someplace. Dutch seems very taken with Micah, who is pretty hot-headed, argumentative, and full of himself. Jose and I are less sure. Guess we shall see. Eventually we came out of the wilderness and are now holed up outside of Blackwater, although sometimes I stay in town hunting for opportunities. Looks like that's a picture of Jenny. I'm kind of sad we never got the chance to meet Jenny in this game. I might be on to something. We got plenty of money, and the trail we took was torturous and slow. Nobody could have followed us south and east or figured out where we was headed. We was thinking about California, but then Dutch and Hosea brought us down to Blackwater. So there's another picture of Blackwater. Looks like it's under construction. Blackwater's apparently grown a lot since any of them was last here. I was told to expect little more than a trading post. But the place is growing fast, and it's almost a small city. The town seems to be riddled with corruption, but there's certainly plenty of money here. It's good to be sleeping in a bed from time to time and living a more civilized life after so long under canvas. But I do not particularly like being this near to a town. Just like the detail in his drawings are really amazing. We are living a <clears throat> sorry, we are living here, camping outside of town mostly, hidden in plain sight, I guess. Life seems pretty easy. Abigail and Marston keep arguing. I wonder why exactly he came back. He cannot seem to decide if he wants to be a father to that boy of his or not. The arguing is exhausting. I heard talk of a man sounded like Trelawney, but we haven't seen him for many months. Jose and I are on to something. Something pretty big. Might be a lot of cash coming in to do with a real estate scam Hosea thinks he may have discovered. I'm not sure yet. The perfect crime, we think. One where we rob crooks. We're being real careful. It's fun working with Hosea again. The man is an artist of nonsense, even if nothing comes of it. We're having an amusing enough time. 
It's good to be running scams again. Jose is a born huckster. He is getting anxious, worried that by lingering in town, we're going to bring undue attention on ourselves. But Dutch thinks he is also onto something big. His words, not mine. Bank money being brought in by boat, apparently. So for now, we are working on both things and seeing what happens. Plan is to flee west into the desert country in some place. Desert, con desert country someplace if we can. Sorry, I can't read today, guys. Can't seem to ever read ever. Mitch and... Sorry. Micah and Dutch... My god. Are planning to rob the ferry in town. They think it's laden with riches. Cash coming in from the banks, coming in by boat. For once, I'm not getting involved in the job. Jose and I are t too taken up with our business, which I believe could go very well, and Dutch seems confident that with the group assembled, all will be okay. Plan is for them to carry out the job, then flee into the wilderness out to the west. The next day, Jose and I carry out our scam and join them. Dutch seems happy and excited. He's talking again about California, but he's also talking about a lot of other places. Another picture of Blackwater. Looks like the saloon. Just look at the detail in some of these things. Even even though like it's not like the most artistic drawing ever. Just like the little details in the building you see that he was particularly looking at. It's just amazing. And there's of course the drawing of the horse that we just discovered. I think they're Tennessee Walkers. Every horse that I have, I name this each breed the same. So like, I try to ride every breed of horse at least once and get them the max bonding at least, max bonding at least once. I know it sounds crazy, but it's not completely undoable. And I'll probably show a lot of the bonding off screen too. Probably in between like cuts of me going other places and doing other things. Like it's, it, I've done it. It's doable. Um. Let's see, uh, so the Tennessee Walker, I think I named the whiskey, you know, Tennessee Whiskey, I know, really simple, but I don't know, I thought it was a cowboy game-ish thing, you know, so that, that's what I went with. Coulter, so we're on the next chapter. We have been running for weeks, I mean running more than usual. The job they was pulling in Blackwater, robbing that ferry, it turned into a disaster. Young Jenny got killed, poor thing, while Sean and Mac both got, both got arrested, or killed, nobody seems sure which. Dutch shot a girl, and I'm not too sure if by accident or design, and seems like it might have been a setup. We took to the hills in an almighty scramble, leaving money and most of our things behind. Then, as we were fleeing east over the Grizzlies, an almighty storm hit us. Davy Callender, who had got shot in the gut on the raid, passed away. It was brutal to watch, and the rest of us nearly froze. But we found shelter and have been resting here at some old abandoned mining town while we await the thaw. Davy, and it looks like he drew a little cross there. Yeah, R.I.P. Davy. Here's a drawing of Camp Coulter. Yeah, that's, that looks about right. Hardly the spring I have been hoping for. Jose and I have been planning a robbery of our own in Blackwater, but I guess that's been abandoned along with most of what I owned. I am profoundly concerned as to what happens next. Once we leave this place, or the law finds us cowering up here. Found a girl, well, a woman, I should say. Her husband had been murdered by some of Como Driscoll's boys. Nasty business. I believe that's the last page. Alright, good. I should probably mention, too, that I am doing some new stuff with recording my actual microphone when I do these recordings. So if I sound any different, hopefully I sound better. Then that is why. But if, uh, if I don't sound any different or better, I'm sorry. I'm testing out new things. And if I posted it, that means it was good enough to post, at least. Thank God. But, uh, it should turn out okay, I think. But just, just letting you know, that's why I might sound different than for my other videos. How you feeling, Jose? You've been coughing a lot. That's the cold. Thank you for bringing John back. Of course. Okay there, Dutch? Thank you. Thank you for bringing John back. Finally, some relief. He's beat up, but he'll be all right, I hope. Molly. Hi. 